my nails. Now I've already prepped my nails. Um, I actually was going to record a video, but I was like, eh, you know what, let me go ahead and go live. Um, so I'm going to wait and let a few people join before I get started. Uh, I am going to be reading the comments as I go. So if you have any questions, feel free to, you know, ask away. Um, so hello to Luna. Um, hold on. Oh, yeah, hold on. But yeah, so hello to Luna. We have Queen Lamaria. We have Janelle, Allison, Torres, Nadi. So, okay, so I guess we can go ahead and get started. Um, or actually, before I get started, be sure to go click the subscribe button that way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so hold on, y'all. Y'all going a little too fast with the questions. I'm going to try to keep up. Uh, but yes, like I was saying, before I get started, be sure to go hit the subscribe button and make sure that you hit the little bell so you are notified every time that I post. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I've already prepped my nails and I use the Melody Susie um, Nail Drill and I use my 180 sending band and then now I'm just gonna go in with the tips. Now these are my coffin nail tips that will be available on my website. Um, I am planning to open up the website the second week in September, so I'll be sure to make a post on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure that you go do that, which is getnail32. And you could also follow my personal page, which is Natalie underscore Carmona32. So anyways, now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and apply the nail tips. So I'm just using the KDS glue. Uh, remember that whenever you're applying your nail tips, you want the nail tips to fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall. And then also make sure that you hold your finger really straight whenever you're applying the nail. That way, you know, you don't apply it on there. Cook crooked. Look, I can't talk today. But y'all, this shape, I wish I could keep them this long, y'all. But look how pretty this shape is, like... Again, these are the coffin nail tips that will be available on my website. Let's see. Uh, so as far as as far as not flooding the cuticle area, that just means that you're using too much product. So you just want to go in there with a little bit less product. Thank you so much, uh, Mel. Thank you so much. Okay, so that took a little bit longer than usual. So that is what the tips look like. They don't, I mean, they have a nice little, you know, C-curve, but they're not too curved. Um, and then again, y'all remember that whenever you're applying nail tips, you want them to fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall. Okay, so it's way too small. Yeah, I might not be able to answer all the questions because I'm really trying to look over and trying to do this. So let's see. Yeah, so as far as not flooding the cuticle area, that just means that you're applying too much, too much acrylic. Or maybe you're just using too much liquid. So when you apply the product, it's going on really runny. It could be either or. That was number three. So I probably need a number two. Now, I did notice that these nail tips are a little bit on the smaller side. So if you are if you or your clients have really, really wide fing or fingernails, they might not always work. But they're working perfect for me right now. Thank you, uh, Buddy White. Thank you so much. Okay. Yes, I like these nails. Y'all, I literally was here working and then I was mad because I forgot these nail tips. And so I ended up going back home. And then when I was home, I was like, dang, I really want to do my nails. So I ended up going to get the tips. And then I did a video and then I ended up coming back over here to do my nails. So hello to everyone again. Um, Y'all, and I just decided to do my nails like earlier today. Um, and the only reason why I'm doing them, you guys know that I haven't been wearing nails for um, like here lately. But the only reason why is because I'm going to be going to LA, yeah, LA uh, next week. And so then that way I don't have to do a full set next week. I can just like touch them up or, you know, just change the... Um, the design or whatever I decide to do instead of like spending all that time doing a full set. Y'all, I really wish that I could keep them this long. Like, look how pretty they are. 
that's cute so now same thing for the other hand y'all yeah, promise like as soon as i put nails on like it's like bad bitch behavior <laughs> it activates your badness Hello to Janelle. We have Nikki. Like I said, y'all make sure that you're subscribed and make sure that you follow me on Instagram and uh, both my personal and my business page. And then also here soon, I will be doing another Amazon live. Um, and that time, I, I think this time I'm going to be doing a, a set of press on nails on there. Y'all, I really, like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, could I work with these nails? Like, if I leave these on, like, could I work with them being this long? But I really think that I, I don't think I could. But, yes, these nail tips are beautiful. Like I said, they will be on my website. And I plan to open the website back up the second week in September. Like, literally, whenever I get back from L.A., like, I'm hopping on it. Y'all, we just might have to go this long. I might not be able to do anything, but, you know, it don't hurt to give it a try. Look, I already can't grab the no tips. Evelyn, I really do not think that I could. Like, I feel like I wouldn't be able to do anything. Because that's why I was... Oh, that's what it is. That's why I was taking a break from doing my nails. Because the last time I did them and I went to Atlanta, I broke this finger right here really bad. And so, like, I was kind of scarred. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to take a break. Hold on. I, they're not in the tip box because I just like I literally just opened up this bag like today like right now for this video but I do have an empty tip box over here to put them in uh, let's see yeah y'all these might have even though I hate it but see look I can't even pick up the tips so imagine yeah I wouldn't even be able to open my car door up I mean open Hey, Ashley, I hope your daughter's okay, but thank you for watching. Exactly, like they are pretty long. Somebody said, yeah, okay, cut them. I know. Okay, somebody said I need to give me some twisters. Now, I do have some tweezers that I keep in my car. Uh, I think I put them in there whenever I went to Atlanta. And, y'all, I was at this one. I can't remember where I was at. And I, Oh, at the gas station, y'all. I was at the gas station, and I could not get my card out of the... Even with the tweezers, like, I had the tweezers. Or did I forget them? I might have forgot the tweezers, y'all. And I just could not get them. And I ended up having to ask, like, this random guy. He was cute, though. But it was this random guy. I ended up having to ask to get my card. And, y'all, it'd be so embarrassing. I've only had to do that one other time. But they'd probably be like, this girl can't even do nothing. Okay, so I applied the nail tips. Like I said, a part of me want to just leave them like this. But I don't think, let's see, hold on. Even though I don't do much typing, but. Okay, yeah, they might have to get cut. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like them like this. Hey, Buddy White. Uh, Jesse, I'm not sure. I don't even think that it might happen again, honestly. I really don't think so. Okay, yeah, we're going to cut them because I'm not trying to have, like, another broken nail. So, I'm just going to cut them. See, like, not that, you know, not that short. So, 
I'm just going in there with my tip cutter. Like right there, maybe. Y'all think that's a good length? Yes, no, cut them down some more, which I think. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think. Yes, perfect. Okay. So same thing for the other hand. Oh, shoot. I cut that one shorter. It's okay. I'm going to cut this thumb shorter. Okay, right there. Okay. This one need to go down some more. Okay. It's not for every. Somebody just said they don't know how women can do anything with long nails. It's a talent. It's not for everybody, you know. It's not for everybody, baby. It's just. You know, it's a special talent. Somebody said cut them shorter. No, I think I'll be fine with like this because these are going to be my L.A. nails. Well, yeah, these are going to be my L.A. nails. So I'll be okay. So after that, I'm going to go in with my hand file. And they're already, of course, that coffin shape. But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of perfect the shape ahead of time. That way, once I apply the acrylic, I won't have to do, like, too much filing. And I kind of, do I want a more narrow? Yeah, I think I do want a more narrow. So, of course, filing the sides. Oh, sorry, y'all. Filing the sides at a 90-degree angle. Making sure that I'm holding my file really straight. And as I'm doing this, I'm watching my shape. That way, I don't overfile on, you know, either side. And then same thing for the free edge. Filing exactly at that 90-degree angle. You see, I looked at it. I needed to find more on the other side. So just like that. Like that. I hope y'all can see it. Okay. And then I like to go in and just blend the nail tip right in the middle. Where the natural nail and the tip meet. And then that's it. So then moving on to the rest. So just following the signs. And with these, I don't really have to make these too narrow because... These I already like the shape of, so really just following the free edge. Yeah, I want to answer y'all's questions, but you know, while, during this part, like I really have to watch what I'm doing, so bear with me. So somebody said, when did I first start uh, doing nails? So I started doing nails when I was in high school. Uh, I think I was like in the 10th grade. So this is like back in 2012. Yeah, 2012 is when I started. And I just learned by watching videos and kind of just learned on my own by practicing. Because at the time, it really wasn't that many people doing, you know, nail tutorials. These are the coffin nail tips, the extra long coffin nail tips that will be available on my website. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm planning on reopening the website the second week in September, but I'll be sure to announce it here soon with an exact date and time. Um, uh, so be sure to follow me on Instagram for that. And then I'll still post it on here, but I always post it on Instagram first. Y'all really like this shape of these nails. Like I'm really not having to do much at all. As far as what I'm going to do on my nails, y'all, I, as of right now, I'm not 100% sure. Y'all, y'all know that every time you do your nails, like, you got to throw up a whole, a few little gang signs while you're doing it. Because, look, I'm over here struggling trying to file this free edge. Usually, I hold it at the edge of the table, and I file it like that. I just didn't want to get out the camera, but I had to. Okay. So, just like that. So, we have a beautiful shape. That's what they look like from the side. Okay, really good. 
So same thing for the other ones, except for whenever I'm doing my right hand with my left hand, instead of moving my file back and forth, I just hold my file with my left hand and then move my right hand up and down against the file. And this always helps me a lot. So I would definitely recommend or suggest that y'all try this if you already don't do this. Okay. Oh, I forgot to blend all of the other ones. Hold on. I might do it with the e-file. Why not? It's okay. Oh, y'all, it's hot in here. It's so hot in here. I had to turn my AC off because it was loud for the video. So I am literally burning up. Okay, this one I think I'm going to have to hold on. Maybe if I do it on here somehow. No. Yeah, I have to set it on the edge of the table. See, like I usually have to set it, like rest it on the edge and just follow back and forth. So that's what I'm doing right now. Or I might just wait. Hold on. I'm just able to get it a lot more straight when I do it like that. Yeah, I'm literally sweating. Give me one second because this fan has to come on. Hopefully it's not loud. It's loud, y'all, it's loud. Like, I wish I could, but it is kind of loud. Oops. Okay. Now, the only thing is this fan is going to blow my dust all the way around the room. But um, I think I want to do, like, a light pink acrylic, and then I want to do some white nail art, or... Well, I think I just want to do light pink and white because I'm not 100, 100% sure on what exactly I want to do. So I'm just going to, you guys know, I never know what I want to do when it comes to my nails. But see, you see how much better they look when I follow them at the edge of the table? Like, it's just so much better. Okay, somebody said, what's a, any good cheap nail brushes you recommend? Honestly, whenever you it comes down to brushes, you really don't want to go cheap with your brush because, you know, that acrylic is really... I know I have a cheap brush that I use, and when I tell you, like, it gives me hell. Like, the acrylic sticks to it so fast, so I keep having to, like, soak it in acetone or brush cleaner. Like, it just takes forever. So I would suggest just spending a little bit more money on a good brush that way it lasts you a really good time because trust me like whenever i first started doing nails y'all like i was buying brushes from sally's and i was literally damn near having to buy a new brush like every week because like they just did not last long and even the brushes from sally's y'all know sally's is not cheap so like i was still spending you know a good little 20 however many dollars at the time but you know at this time i was like 15 years old so you know that was a lot to me but yeah, I would recommend just, you know, saving up a little bit more if you need to and just, you know, buying um, a better brush. Same thing with your acrylic system. You don't want to go cheap with either one of those. Uh, my favorite nail shape is definitely a coffin shape for sure. Y'all, when I say I am horrible at like three, like I don't even try anymore because I just can't. Like I've tried it so many times and every time I give up, like I just, I don't know. It's just not in me. Like I can't do it. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I went ahead and just dust them off. This is what the nails look like after, you know, the tip application. Okay. Oh, let's see. I kind of want to do this. I think even though it's barely, I think it's enough. It should be enough for this set. But, um... This is Cover Pink by JCB to Concepts. I do have a promo code for them, so I'll be sure to leave that in the description. But the promo code is Get Nailed 32. You guys already know. And then for my paper towels, I'm using the Viva paper towels. And y'all, like, even though it might not sound important to y'all, like, oh, I can just use any paper towels. No. You want to make sure that you're using good paper towels because that's another reason why acrylic will get stuck to your brush. If, if, the, if the paper towel is not, you know, sucking up your liquid and the acrylic. Alrighty, for my monomer, I'm also using my JCB to Concepts monomer. And then for hold on. And then for my primer, also using the JCB to Concepts primer, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on all of my nails, only applying it to the natural nail. Yeah, I might end up having to turn on the AC for real because it is hot. Like, there's literally sweat dripping from my face at the moment. Okay. So, I applied the primer. Hold on, y'all. Let me readjust. I'm going to turn the AC on, and then if it's too loud, just let me know, and then I'll turn it off or whatever. Because, yeah, I'm not trying to die from a heat stroke either. Look, now I need some water. So... was good okay so we're gonna go in with the hold on. There go. so again I'm using the cover pink by JCBD concepts and hopefully you guys can see really well hold on let me adjust this and I'd probably zoom in a little bit. Nope. Okay, so. Okay, so you guys said it sounds okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm just going to leave it on then. So anyways, now I'm going to go in with the acrylic. So as always, going in, dipping my brush in, wiping it off halfway. And then I'm going to dip it into the acrylic. Place my first bead right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meet. Patting it down and when you pat y'all you want to be super gentle you don't want to pat down too hard because that, I feel like it dries the acrylic faster and then you also whenever you brush down you want to make sure that you're brushing gently that way you don't brush the product off the nail you just want to brush it down the nail not off the nail so be really gentle wiping off the sides that way the acrylic does not take away from our shape okay and just like that Oh, this is the Alpha brush in a number 10. This one was part of the collaboration that, you know, I did with them. But uh, you can just get the same one, but it would just be brown. But again, that is the number 10. So second bead, I'm going to place it right below the first one. So right about there. Same thing, patting it down and then brushing it down towards the tip. Remember, super gentle. And then I'm also going to go ahead and blend it up with, you know, what we already had there. Cleaning the sides up. Okay. 
just like that now hold on okay is that good like right there let me make sure like right here like up towards you guys maybe i can put it like right here is this better right here okay so the third bead i'm going to place it closer to the cuticle area and then i'm holding my finger down that way the acrylic kind of just runs down and then very y'all when i say very gently like very gently just blending it in because we want most of this product to stay in that area that because that's what's going to build our apex cleaning the sides up okay fourth bead i'm going to place it closer to the cuticle as well this one's a smaller bead because i feel like i already have a good apex and i'll show y'all here in a second i just got some little things to fill in around the cuticle area going around the cuticle area with the very tip oh i just touched the nail but with the very tip of the brush just cleaning around the cuticle area Okay. And then this is why I always say to look at the nail from different angles. I don't know if you guys can see, but on this side, I need a little bit more acrylic right there. So I'm just going in and applying acrylic, you know, as needed at this point. So just, I needed a little bit right there. And then looking at the nail from right here, I feel like I still need another small bead right there. So remember, you do your four beads or three beads whatever you want to do and then look at the nail from different angles if you have a nice apex and thickness at the tip everything is nice and smooth then you can move on to the next nail if not you can go in and add a little bit more acrylic wherever you need it but if you go in and the nail is super thick already then just leave it as is and then you could always follow the acrylic down but don't go in and keep adding acrylic and adding and adding um because then your nail is going to be way too thick So now it looks pretty good to me. Oops. So this is what it looks like. Nice and smooth. That's the thickness. If you guys can tell right there, not too thick. Sorry y'all, like I'm I'm trying. Okay, right there. I'm just gonna leave my hand right here. I know I keep moving it. So same thing, y'all, going in, getting my bead, placing it right in the middle, patting it down, and then very gently brushing it down towards the tip. So I'm so sorry, y'all, like, dang, now I'm thinking I should have just did a video instead of doing a live. okay so that was just my first bead same thing as we did um okay so same thing as we did on the thumb so I just did the first bead and then i'm gonna go in with the second one placing it right before but um uh, below wiping the sides off Yeah, it's so hard to like be what like doing now. So it's hard to like be paying attention to what I'm doing. Plus paying attention to the camera. Like, remember, it's it's just me in here, y'all. Placing the third bead closer to the cuticle area. And make sure that if you get any product 
around the skin or around the cuticle area that you go ahead and immediately wipe that off because once it dries it's going to be really hard to get off and then most likely you will get lifting or be closer as well Yeah, I just flooded my cuticle. See, so like when this happens, just go in there and immediately wipe it off. So that, that answers somebody's question. When you flood the cuticle, you immediately go in and clean it off. I'm going to go in and place another one right about right there. I'm just blending that in with what I already have. Yes, the name of the acrylic is the JCBD Concepts Acrylic in the color Cover Pink. The promo code for them is Get Nail 32. okay so that was the second nail so as you guys can see like it's just the same thing over and over again i'm just doing the four ball method you know looking at my nail from different angles if i need to apply more acrylic somewhere then i do that if not i move on to the next nail but as always you want to make sure that you know you have a nice thickness a good apex and that the nails are nice and smooth The nail tips will be available on my website as i mentioned earlier um i'm planning on opening up my website back up the second week in september so i'll be sure to make an official post about that here soon Yeah, see, that's why uh, somebody said that the product that they purchased on Amazon dried almost instantly. And yes, that's why, like, I recommend that you guys, you know, don't um, just go with, like, super cheap acrylic systems because that will happen. Either they'll be too runny or they'll dry super fast and it almost ruins, like, your experience of doing nails. Like, it literally makes you want to just give up because that's what happened to me. Like, the very first time that I ever did nails... I used the little kiss kit from Walmart and y'all it was a disaster like for real going in with the bead closer to the cuticle area patting it down and brushing down towards the tip I started doing nails because I was getting my nails done a lot, but it's like the lady that I was going to, she wasn't doing exactly what I wanted. And then like for me, just watching her do my nails, it was like to the point where it was like, you know what, like I can do this. And so I just started practicing and then that's just how it started. 
And at the time, I think at the time, yeah, I was in middle school. Like, literally, I was in middle school when I was going to that lady. This was, like, maybe when I decided to, it was, like, maybe the summer going into high school. So, yeah, that was in 2011. And then I didn't. So, I, I practiced for, like, a year before I actually started, like, working on um, clients. And at the time, it was just, like, my friends and, you know, sister classmates like that's whose nails I was doing Yeah, this one I feel like I apply too much right here. Like it's a little too wide for me. So I definitely will have to come in and file some of that off. Oh yeah, also yeah, another thing, like whenever you wipe the sides off, don't just go in there like straight on the side. I always recommend going in like underneath because if not that's when you create like that wall on the side and so it almost makes the nail look like it has a wall on of acrylic on the side if that makes sense i'm pretty sure you guys have seen or know what i'm talking about okay same thing I'm just doing the four ball method so just going in the first bead I place is right in the middle where the natural nail and the tip meet which is the one that I applied just now I brush it all the way down till it's nice and smooth after that I go in with my second bead place it right below the first one same thing patting it down and then very gently brushing down towards the tip remember y'all super like you're literally just feathering the acrylic like you don't want to brush too hard because if not, you're going to be brushing that product off the nail. Okay, it's nice and smooth. See, after the second bead, this is what the nail looks like. It's nice and smooth. So then I can go in and do my third bead, which is going to go closer to the cuticle area. Placing it down very gently, making sure it's like as close as I can get it to the cuticle but not to where it's actually touching the skin. Pat it down and brush down and then cleaning around the cuticle area. And then fourth bead placing it right behind so basically like the same spot or if not a little bit lower and same thing brushing it down you want to make sure that after every time you brush the acrylic you wipe your brush off because if not, that product is going to build up in your brush. And sometimes I feel like I overdo it, but no, like there's really no such thing as like wiping your brush off too much. You want to make sure you keep it clean at all times. Okay. I feel like there's a little see-through spot at the tip, so I'm going to apply another bead right there.
Okay, I'll get closer in a second when I apply it closer to the cuticle area. 